Raj, thanks a lot for that. Well, let's get you our special momentumizer segment. Well, Anant Raj, uh, that's the stock on our radar real estate play. In Friday's trading session, the market was a little bit brittle, but this one ended higher in trade. So it outperformed both uh, the mid cap as well as the small cap indices. And that's where it caught my attention. Now, I was looking at a couple of other data points. On a closing basis, it closed at its highest level since 15th of November 2022. Remember, that time it was moving with good momentum. And from there, it did see a bit of a correction. The stock is up close to around 30% from the panic lows that we saw in December. They're just a couple of weeks or so ago. And on the traded volumes as well as delivery volume side, well, it's pretty much in line with what we have seen in the past one month or so. In that panic low, though, what was encouraging was the promoter entity, they came in there. And they picked up close around 6 lakh shares also, giving some sort of support. Now, what are we looking at? Well, on a, a support basis, the 20 and the 50 DMA on the downside, that'll be crucial. Well, let's see whether or not it can go and make a fresh 52-week high and sustain over those levels. Because in November, it went to a 52-week high, but from there we saw quite a sharp correction. So that one makes it to our momentumizer segment. Okay, so we'll watch out for that, Anand Raj. But let's put focus on the financial space. A whole host of banks, NBFCs posted their Q3 business updates. Krishna Nasv, the lead analyst, BFSI at HDFC Securities, joins us now to discuss more on that. 